Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York, and in front of me today, I have the final vault from In The Game. We're gonna make it rain, man. In The Game's been around since 1998, associated with being a player between the pipes, products such as those. I think, ultimately, Upper Deck purchased them, and then they, the rights were purchased by Leaf in the end. Um, but in this old formation, in 2015-16, this was a repackaging of pre-existing autos and jersey cards and so on. So it's actually really cool. It only has 10 cards, theoretically. Sometimes there's a bonus 11th card. But if you look at this, it says that each box of the Final Vault contains five game news memorabilia, four autos, and one mask card. And those mask cards I've shown before, which are these really, really cool between the pipe goalie mask cards. So this is a cool product, man. It's basically all hits. They're low end hits, they're affordable hits. The box only costs about $55 and a bit. So let's do it. And all the cards should be uh, stamped with the vault emblem. And that sort of uh, annotates or designates uh, the re-release of these cards for the special inclusion within the special box. Uh, so here we go. Let's see what we have here. And you, you can see that we have our mask card. I believe that's a mask man card right at the top of it. So let's see what we have here. So we did receive an Eddie Mio mask card, and that would be a mask man series five. So there are mask man cards and they're mask cards. They're very similar. Uh, there's essentially um, the continuation of the same uh, type of series of cards. Um, let's see if I can maybe cover these cards a bit as I show them with my Noah Hannafin. So first card would be the mask card. It is a one of five, I think is, I, I believe is what it says. Yeah, so that would be a silver one of five vault card. So there would be five of these particular mask man cards that would be included within all of these boxes. And it says one of five, all the cards would be inscribed one of five. So it doesn't, it's not numbered to two of five or whatnot. And it's a really, really cool. I actually don't have this Mass Man uh, 5 series. I have mostly the Mass cards, not the Mass Man cards. And Eddie Mio, of course, you would know, would have been the goaltender when Gretzky and, um, uh, and Messier joined the Edmonton Oilers in the early 80s, uh, circa, circa 80, 81, 79, 80, 81. Really cool, right? Beautiful, beautiful cards. So that would be the first card. And let's see what the second card is. And the second card, oh wow, it's an Andy Moog dual color jersey. Andy Moog played on the Habs, he played on the Bruins. Uh, it's funny, but I think some people could confuse the two goaltenders actually, Mio and Moog, Moog just because their names are so similar. Um, but he was a stellar goaltender during the Cam Neely years of Boston. So this would be a, a game worn jersey, number 33. Uh, and this is certainly absolutely from the Between the Pipes uh, series cards. And it's, you, you see the nomenclature there, one of one, and I think it's a purple. The purples mean that there are eight cards, I believe there's eight of these Andy Mo in the um, re-release in this particular uh, vault series. Next, wow, look at this thing. Holy moly. So now we have this in the game, teammates, Marty Turco and Mike Medano. Really hot looking card. This is pretty sick. Really, really nice. And again, it's so here we see it's at the corner's a bit nipped there, but we see that it is, again, the nomenclature one and one for the vault series. Uh, and the blue says there's at least two cards. So there would be two of these cards. I assume they'd be exactly these cards. Uh, it says it's a one of one, um, but there are two cards, so this is probably a very similar card uh, also somewhere else in the set. And let's see what else we received. And we hit a prospects card, and this is Olivier Roy prospects card, who is a goaltender. Now this, of course, would be from Heroes and Prospects. Uh, so that's another one of the in-the-game products. And we received the Olivier Roy. Uh, and there it has his bona fides. So that's another one. So that's another one of the game used. Uh, here I believe we have a Be A Player Auto. So let's see who it is. And we hit a Rob Brandemore. A Rob Brandemore Auto. That is awesome. Uh, he, of course, presently is the coach of the Canes. Um, really nice to receive that, particularly because he's, he, you know, and this isn't a gold. There are actually gold ones. This is sort of the base 
uh, be a player signature. Again, it has the vault emblem on it. Cool. That is, that is sick. That is awesome. Continuing on, I believe we have another one from another year. By the way, they're all different years. This is 2002, 2003, or 2001, 2002. Uh, and this one, I believe, is a subsequent year or the prior year. And we hit a Yannick Perot. We hit a half. Really cool. We hit this half of Yannick Perot. Awesome. Really beautiful cards, uh, these. And you can collect this entire, from the original series, you can collect these. The only difference would be the annotation of the vault on the top right-hand corner. So we did receive a hab, which is nice. We still have a couple of cards left here, so let's see who we have. We have a goalie graph. No way. No way. You kidding me? Uh, yeah, well, this is, this is spectacular. We just hit a vault-designated Marc-Andre Fleury auto. Unbelievable. Spectacular. We just hit a flower auto, guys. Um, flower, I mean, we can say what we want about flower, but I think he's about to pass, um, he's about to pass Jacques Plante on the all-time wins list. I believe he's ninth now. He's just about to pass him. Uh, I think Jacques Plante is eighth in the history of the game in wins. Um, Marc-Andre Fleury is ninth. At the time of recording this, I think Marc-Andre Fleury has 436 wins and Plante has 437 wins. Uh, to give you an idea, Lund Lundqvist, who is six, who I just saw play at MSG against um, Price, and Price was unbelievably spectacular the other day. Lundqvist has 448 wins, but Lundqvist is older and played more games. Lundqvist has played almost 850 games at this point, where Marc-Andre Fleury hasn't even played 800 yet. I can't contain my excitement because I love goaltenders. Flower is one of my favorite players in the history of the game, drafted first overall in 2003. Uh, just one of the best-natured players you'll ever see in the game. All smiles. Been to the cup five times. Won three times. Uh, man, that's a great hit. That made me really super-duper happy. So here we have another auto. And this one's Logan Couture. We hit a Logan Couture auto. Man, this is a great product. I'm loving this product off, guys. I can't take it anymore. This is just such a great product. I recommend it at $55. You won't necessarily get the same cards. You get a whole smattering of different types of cards. But we just hit a Logan Couture beautiful vault auto. That's a handsome looking auto. Autograph from the In the Game O Canada series. So this is a product that I don't think I've even opened the original series, the In the, uh, in the Game O Canada series. What a beautiful Logan Couture. Man. These, these are just spectacular. I, I can't even begin to tell you. Continuing on here, guys. Whoa, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this gold one of one insignia thingy. Holy moly. Evgeny Navikov. And I think these are called the stick and jerseys. Is that not? No, they're, they're called something else. Oh, they're just called triple memorabilia. I've seen these before. How sick is this thing? How sick is this thing? So I believe we have either a glove or a pad. Oh, here it says, it says glove. It has a glove, a jersey, and a stick of Nabokov, who was certainly a really well-known quantity at the time. And Nabokov is 21st all time in the history of our game in wins. So he too is another one of those goalies who uh, had a spectacular career. Uh, nothing negative to say about him with his lifetime 9-11 save percentage or whatever it is. Okay, guys, last one. This is our last hit. This is, oh, look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What do you think this is? No way. This is, this is the best vault I've ever opened. I've only, it's only my second one. No way. Don't even. What? Look at this. On top of it, we hit a Marty Brodeur jersey, again, one of one um, craziness. And this one's certainly from Between the Pipes. Absolute craziness. But this box was absolute craziness. So uh, I don't even know what to say. It just got better and better and better. So let's, I'll go through them really quickly, guys, because this is just bonkers. I don't even know what to say. Okay, guys, time for the recap. What a fun break this was. Man, this is just stellar. What a stellar break. So first and foremost, we have this Olivier Roy, uh, drafted, I believe, by Edmonton, uh, played mostly, I guess, in the Deutsche League. 
uh, but it is a one-on-one -on -one fault card. We see these in the Heroes and Prospect cards. I've certainly seen Olivier Roy before. He also, I believe, did play for Team Canada. We do have a Mask Man card. We're guaranteed a Mask or Mask Man card. We actually had Eddie Mio. It was kind of cool because he was uh, the goalie uh, in the early, early days of Gretzky and Messier. He was their goaltender. Also played, I believe, on the Rangers. I believe he also played on the Red Wings. Well, obviously played on the Red Wings. Um, what else do we receive? Uh, as I sort of state the obvious, we received this really cool one of Mike Medano and Marty Turco. Um, Mike Medano, one of the best Americans to ever play the game, if not the best American player to ever play the game, almost 1,400 points in his career, 24th all-time in points in the NHL. And Marty Turco, who was a perennial all-star back in the day. Uh, really, really cool, man. We did receive the Andy Moog, who of course was part of the Grand Fury tandem and won three Stanley Cups on your Edmonton Oilers, who played on the Habs and played on Boston and was uh, an unbelievable uh, playoff goaltender back when Cam Neely was with them. This is a duel, and we again designated, uh, annotated, uh, one of one. So there would be our Andy Moog. So in terms of autos, we did receive this, boom, this auto of Logan Couture. How sick is this? This is from the O Canada series. It is beautiful. This is a beautiful, clean looking auto of Logan Couture. So that's that. Uh, what else do we receive? Um, I'm just going through autos here. Oh yeah, of course, we received this one here of Yannick Perot. Sick, sickness, sickness. Uh, this, of course, is from the uh, BAP series, um, the Signature series, 2002-2003. Uh, I've been collecting a set of these, actually. Uh, we also received from the, I believe, 2001-2002 year, we received the Rob Brandemore, coach of the Canes now, uh, and we received his auto as well. Kind of nice. Neither of these are golds. I think they're both silvers as opposed to the golds. Uh, we received this sick, sick Nabokov, Unbelievable. So it has a piece of jersey, a piece of glove, and a piece of stick. I, this has got to be, in the original release, this has to be a really tough hit uh, to receive that. Man, is this a pretty card. I love it. I'm going to post it right over here. Uh, still not done. We received a game used of Marty Brodeur. Uh, most wins in the history of our game, probably the most losses as well, because <laughs> he played so many games, he's played more than anybody else, but uh, yeah, number one in shutouts in the history of our game as well, Marty Brudor. Uh, I'll put him right next to Price because they belong together. And then finally, the hit of the box, uh, one of my favorite hits ever, I, I hit the flower, first overall in 2003, been to the cup five times, three times Stanley Cup champion. A flower. So that's it, man. I don't even know where to put it. I have such a massive haul of cards here. That's basically it, guys. Wow. For $55? Uh, man. And I hit a bunch of goalies like I like to do and I want to do. I have to be Fulton cards. I have a direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Please subscribe. Please provide a like. Please provide a comment. Tell your friends about my channel. I celebrate the history of the game, not price points. I think we should be able to contribute to this and share this hobby affordably as opposed to breaking the bank and worrying about resale value and all that. Just focus on the sentimental value, man. Phone cards live and direct from Brooklyn, New York.